In this video, we're gonna create backgrounds for our game. So we're gonna set two backgrounds. One's gonna be the starting screen and the other is gonna be the background that stays consistent throughout the rest of the game. The way we do that is we come down here and notice we have stage, okay? So on stage, we need to do a new backdrop. So you can choose from a library, you can paint a new backdrop, you can upload a backdrop, or you can take a picture like maybe with your webcam, for example, and get a backdrop. So let's say, oh, I don't know. I just want to look at the library and see what we've got. Let's pretend like we're going to do a science game. So I want to do something outside, maybe with nature. These look cool. Okay. I think I'm going to do... Let's pretend like we're doing vocabulary for an ocean unit in science. Uh, I'm going to choose this underwater picture. Okay, and there it is right here. And notice um, under the backdrops tab here, there's the two. There's the one that was started uh, originally. I don't need that one anymore, so I'm going to right click on it and choose delete. And I have my underwater backdrop. I'm going to rename this to be starting screen. Um, or just start and I'm going to go ahead and create another backdrop but this time I'll just have it be like a different uh, different picture so I can come in here and either do a different picture or I can make a solid one so I'm gonna just make a solid one because we're gonna put text on it and I want to make sure that the text shows up so I'm gonna do new backdrop and then for this one, I'm going to use this paint bucket tool and I'm going to use my color picker. I'm going to make it like a blue color just because we're going to do like an ocean and come in here and click that. Okay. So if you wanted to change that blue to be a little more muted, you can come in here and just pick different colors. So again, we're just trying to get a solid backdrop that looks good for our, our ocean vocabulary unit. Okay. So I like this one. So I'm going to leave this one here. And instead of having it called backdrop one, I'm gonna come in here and just have it called game. All right, and notice how the names change when I enter them up here in the top corner. If you have time, take time to go through and explore um, the tools over here in the backdrop editor. Of course, you can also do colors. Uh, you notice you can pick two colors. So if you do a gradient background, for example, where it goes from like a dark color to a light color, you can have the two different colors here. Uh, the one last thing I need to do before we are done here is to come to start. And I'm gonna put some text on the screen so that we can identify this as our science vocabulary game. So I'm gonna click text. And I'm gonna come here and put my cursor where I want it. And I'm just going to type science vocabulary game. Notice that my font is that same color blue. So let's go ahead and change that really quickly. Let's make it black. Okay. And click back up here. Science vocab game. And moving it is not very fun. Um, if you don't like where it is, you'll have to change it. I'm going to actually start it back a little bit further to the left and a little further down all right so there is the name of my game so it's here let me just click back on on start to make sure it's saved there it is so i have now the backdrops for our game and the next video we're going to add a sprite that allows us to start the game I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.